hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we are continuing our discussion on uh, sensors and uh, transducers so in today's video we are going to discuss about another uh, transducer which uh, will be used which is commonly used for the measurement of force and pressure so the transducer which we are going to discuss about uh, today is the piezoelectric transducer and the discussion will be on uh, the force and pressure measurement using the piezoelectric transducer okay so before we discuss about uh, the piezoelectric transducer for force and pressure measurement first let us discuss some basic things related to piezoelectric materials which is the main part of this transducer so a piezoelectric material has one unique characteristic specifically for which it is used for uh, in the in the transducer uh, for transduction purpose is that uh, when pressure or force is applied on the piezoelectric materials okay piezoelectric crystals when it is applied force or pressure is applied uh, mainly perpendicular to these piezoelectric materials they undergo deformation and as a result of that an electric potential is generated across the surface ends of the crystal okay because of this deformation and this effect this unique property of the piezoelectric materials is called as the piezoelectric effect so when force or pressure is applied perpendicular to the piezoelectric crystals the piezoelectric materials they develop an electric potential uh, across the surface ends okay this is the property now the commonly used piezoelectric crystal materials that are used in the uh, sensors and transducers designing of that so the piezoelectric uh, materials they are classified in two categories okay natural piezoelectric materials and synthetic piezoelectric materials okay so the natural piezoelectric materials the examples of that are quartz tourmaline mainly they are the natural crystals and the synthetic or artificial design piezoelectric materials the example of that is uh, rochelle salt lithium sulfate dipotassium tartarate so these are the commonly used piezoelectric materials okay now we have discussed about the piezoelectric effect that is when force or pressure is applied perpendicular to the piezoelectric material spate natural or synthetic they develop an electric potential but the reverse is also uh, applicable it's true for the piezoelectric materials the reverse effect which is called as the inverse piezoelectric effect it uh, means that if we apply an electric potential across the two ends or the end surfaces of the piezoelectric material the material undergoes deformation and it vibrates with a certain frequency which is unique to each crystal material so for a particular value of electric potential and for a particular crystal okay if uh, it is a natural or synthetic whatever crystal is used it it has its own unique oscillation frequency and uh, this is used in oscillators this uh, property but uh, that is a different thing so you should know this inverse piezoelectric effect also so if we apply an electric potential across the two end surfaces of the piezoelectric material it undergoes deformation and vibrates with a certain frequency the opposite of the uh, piezoelectric effect okay so now how it is used 
for force and pressure measurement okay so for force and pressure measurement the whole uh, transducer setup is something like this it consists of a piezoelectric crystal material a slab of that and uh, it is uh, placed in between two measuring electrodes now these two electrodes are used for uh, measuring the electric potential okay to 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 get the electric potential so the force or pressure which is to be measured it is applied on this uh, one of the electrodes okay the source of pressure or force is connected to this top electrode now when this force is applied on this piezoelectric crystal it undergoes deformation and as per the piezoelectric effect it develops an electric potential now what is the value of that electric potential what is the mathematical expression of that so the electric potential which is generated because of this deformation as a result of the applied force it is given by the expression e which is the electric potential is equal to g t f by a okay so here e is the electric potential the output g is the voltage sensitivity which is unique for each piezoelectric crystal which is used and it is specified in the specification sheet when you purchase a piezoelectric transducer and the unit of that is voltmeter voltmeter by newton and it is given by k by t where k is the piezoelectric constant okay and t is the thickness of the piezoelectric crystal which is used which is the voltage sensitivity this is okay so f is the force the magnitude of the force applied in newtons a is the area of the crystal surface and p is pressure f by a so it can be written as e is equal to gt f by a or it can, it can be written as gtp so it can be calibrated to give output in terms of newton or in terms of the units of pressure whatever unit is used bar pascal whatever it is so it can be calibrated the output electric potential can be calibrated to give the output in terms of units of force or units of pressure so it depends on the manufacturer what uh, calibration what units output units uh, the manufacturer chooses to use okay so this is the electric potential expression so the basic principle is the same it consists of two electrodes in between that we have the piezoelectric crystals force is applied the crystal undergoes deformation generates an electric potential which the expression of which is this okay now uh, what are the advantages of using the piezoelectric transducer now the accuracy level of this transducer is good and uh, it is small size so it will not occupy much space the frequency response of this transducer is good and the output level the magnitude okay it is also good now there are certain disadvantages also associated with it the most uh, uh, common disadvantage is that the piezoelectric crystals the natural or synthetic they are highly fragile so the chances that uh, the the damage uh, that can happen to this piezoelectric transducer this whole setup the device it the chances are very high that uh, they are highly prone to uh, being damaged okay if they are not handled properly and also the cost of fabrication designing of these piezoelectric transducers is very high and also because of uh, temperature uh, uh, the being sensitive to changes in temperature the output electric potential it is uh, prone to 
change okay to give different values in different uh, conditions of temperature so these are some of the disadvantages of piezoelectric transducers so this is the piezoelectric transducers used for measurement of force and pressure okay so we discussed about uh, the piezoelectric materials the piezoelectric effect the inverse piezoelectric effect the types of uh, crystal materials the output electric potential expression in terms of force and pressure and the advantages and disadvantages so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much